Hey, this is Kelly with RV Wholesalers. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on a Vibe by Forest River. Um, this model is the 34BH. Um, very cool floor plan. It's a triple slide, but it actually opened up as a double opposing slides in the living area. So it actually gives you a bigger feel than a traditional bunkhouse floor plan. Plus it gives you a bunk slide, gives you an outside kitchen, the big outside kitchen. Um, and then it does have a slide out on the door side. A lot of times people don't think that, or think that that's gonna take up too much spot, too much of your area in front of your camper when you're sitting at the campsite. But you can see, I mean, it's still, with the awning sticking out, I mean, you still have plenty of room here. It is a power awning, um, LED light strip going across the top there. All fiberglass exterior, aluminum framing. Um, the awnings are adjustable, even though they are power. Um, you just push that in, tighten that nut up right there, and you can pitch it either way. Outside speakers, um, it does have the stabilizer jacks on each corner, so step, level the coach up, um, make it very sturdy as you're inside the coach. Um, steps here, they are adjustable legs. Those do fold right up into the door. Those are the solid aluminum steps, so they're not gonna give as you're going in and out of the coach. Um, very, very nice. Uh, aluminum wheels you can see over here. Nice big pass-through storage. Come in here and take a look at this. You can see there, and then you can also see the aluminum framing um, as that's all set up in there as well. Again, the linoleum's ran all the way through, so it's in your pass-through storage as well. Um, very, very nice, but a big door so you can put lawn chairs, put your fishing rods, whatever you want. They are the magnetic latches too, so they don't have the latches that just hook on here, and you forget about it and you pull it and then bust it off. Um, they just very easily go up there. Um, it is prepped for the um, 10 amp solar panel, the Furion. Um, you can set it in the grass. Basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna trickle charge your battery. Um, now one thing that we do is anytime we prep the coach, uh, we're gonna put a brand new 12 volt deep cycle battery on it for you. But we do that all before you get here and pick up the unit. So um, we make sure everything's working properly for you. Um, you can see it does have the uh, partial cap here. It has a nice LED light strip going across um, with the rock guard as well. Um, it is going to have a battery disconnect. Now what that's going to be is obviously when you're storing the unit, what have you, go ahead and disconnect the battery. That way the things aren't pulling a little bit of juice here and there, then it drains your battery. Um, propane cover, it will come with the two bottles here. If you want to upgrade, just let us know and we can do that for you here um, in-house if it is something you want to do. Power tongue jack with the LED light on the front. Um, it does have a manual over right here as well. Um, now this does have an auto changeover regulator. So if you come up here, you're gonna see a little point on here. Basically what that's saying is it's, it's gonna pull from that tank first, okay? But with it being an auto changeover regulator, when this tank runs out, it automatically pulls from this tank, okay? Now you can see the eyes green here. When it's red, it means it ran out. When it's green, it means it has gas. You always wanna run both tanks wide open. And then that way, if this one does run out, it automatically switches over. If you don't have this open because you're running off of this tank, then when it runs out, you're out. So, and then once one runs out, you just pull it off, go switch it over to the other side. As far as your jacks on the corners, those are just for stabilizing the coach, like I'd mentioned. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna hook your handle on here, which has a fitting on here. Now, a lot of times people will just take like a cordless drill, put the same size socket on there, run them up and down. Once they hit the ground, you go about another quarter to a half turn, and that's it. So they're not for changing tires or leveling it side to side. Leveling it front to back, you use your jack on the front. Leveling it side to side, what you do is put a like a big board down or some leveling blocks underneath of the tire. So leveling side to side will go there. Over here you can see you do have your fresh water fill. So if you're going camping and they don't have water hookup at the site, what you're either gonna do is one of two things. Once you pull into the campground, you usually have a filling station. You can pull in there, put the water hose in here, fill that onboard tank up, or fill it up at the house if you're not going too far. Um, and then once you get there, what you'll do is you'll turn on your 12 volt pump, which pumps the water out of the tank to your taps, showers, toilet, things like that. And you can see down here, it does have a fully enclosed underbelly as well. And then over there on that side, up towards the front of the coach, you're gonna see a white drain. That's gonna be the fresh water drain. Because typically you're not gonna wanna pull with your tanks full, it just adds extra weight. So typically before you leave to head home, 
you go ahead and drain your fresh water tank, let that drain out. Obviously, you're going to drain your, your black and gray valves as well. Um, it does have a six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. So DSI means direct spark ignition. So that means to you is you don't have to come out here and actually use a lighter to light it up. It's going to fire up just from a switch inside. You always want to make sure your pressure release, just go ahead and hold that straight out while you're filling the tank for the first time of the year. Once it starts squirting water out, go ahead and shut that. And then, you know, it's full, you're good to light it, go ahead and fire it up. Now down here on the bottom left-hand corner on this particular model, most of them are the same. Um, there's gonna be a little on-off switch. That's gonna be just for the electric side. So the switch for the gas is gonna be inside, the electric's gonna be outside. A Couple more uh, ports here. So this, and they're, they're all labeled for you, but the city water connection right here, what that's gonna be is if they actually have water hookup at the campground where you're at. So they have water hookup at your site, so you'll just run the garden hose, hook it up, now always make sure you use a water pressure regulator, which is gonna reduce down the PSI of the, the water to about 45 or less, um, just to keep you from bursting any lines, springing any leaks, anything like that. So anytime you're hooked to this, you don't fill your fresh, you don't use your pump. It automatically pressurizes the water right to all your taps. Now this one here, this is a black tank flush. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you kind of a cleaning mechanism for the inside of your black tank. Now the black tank is just your toilet water, okay? So if you look right down here, you're gonna see a sewer connection, okay? So after, and like this one's pulled out, push it in to close it, pull it out to open it, okay? So while you're camping, they're in, you get done camping, you go to your, as your dump station, you're gonna hook the sewer hose up here. The first one you're gonna wanna pull is the black one, which is down here. That's the three inch pipe, that's gonna be just your toilet. So you're gonna pull that valve, let that run through the sewer hose, okay? Once that's done, I mean, depending on how full it is, you'll know with it going through the hose, leave that valve open, then what you're gonna do is hook your water hose to the black tank flush. What that's gonna do is it sprays inside the tank, okay? And make sure it cleans off all the sensors, the toilet paper, the debris, things like that. Let that run through the hose for a few minutes. And then after that's done, shut the water off, then shut the black valve, and then pull your gray valve, which is your sinks and your shower. That'll finish rinsing out your sewer hose. Then you can pull the sewer hose off, put it in the bumper, you're good to go. Uh, makes life easy, nice easy process. Not hard, because everything's closed off, and then you go ahead, put the hose on, so you don't have to worry about it getting all over you. It is a 50 amp service unit, okay? So you can see that there. Um, outside shower, which is hot and cold. Um, one other thing I do want to go over with you here real quick. Um, we also have, if you're not familiar, we have a Buckeye service guarantee, okay? So if you're from the great state of Ohio, um, as long as the weather's nice, which the sun's shining today. Um, anywhere you travel or camp, we have a nationwide service network, but in Ohio we offer um, like free delivery, a loaner RV, things like that if you have issues. But definitely give us a call, we'd love to go over it with you. Um, also here you're gonna see some nice big windows, and that's gonna be right in the living area of the coach. Um, keeps it very bright in the unit. Um, all 12 volt slides as well. Um, now I mentioned that a lot of times you can store the sewer hose in the bumper. Those just pull out, put the hose right in there, keep it out of the way. Full size spare, okay. Um, then up here you're going to see you do have, it is prepped for a backup camera. So if you're on backup camera, you just plug that in there, put the module inside the screen inside your tow vehicle, and you're good to go. Um, right over here, you're going to have your cable and satellite hookups. Those are spelled out for you. Now, what those are going to be is if they have actual hookup at the campground, okay? All you do is just screw the coax in there, and it runs it to the entire coach. All right. So you're going to see here in the outside kitchen, um, you're going to have a few things. You're going to have a couple refrigerators. Obviously, the refrigerators are always handy at the campground. Um, really nice, a lot of people don't really think about is is you don't have people tracking in and outside the coach, right? So if you don't have, if you got the air running, it stays cool inside, you can use everything outside. People wanna be camping, they wanna be outside. Um, it has a spot for a TV. Nice thing too is you can actually see it because it does have an arm and it's in the shade. So if it's a bright sunny day, you're still gonna be able to see that. And then it does have the metal top here. So if water or moisture does get in there, you're not gonna have to worry about it warping or anything like that. It does have a water spigot. Um, sprayer here as well which will pull out and you can spray um, all LED lighting throughout the coach so you have one speaker here and one on the other side of the slide out 
Again, another cable hook up here. This is gonna be the exhaust for the furnace. So if you're ever wondering, hey, is the furnace functioning properly? Is it heating up? Because I put my hand over the ductwork inside and it wasn't hot. Well, it takes a little bit of time for it to warm up that ductwork. So if you're ever wondering, just put your hand close to that and it'll be heating up right away. All right, we can go in here and check out the inside. See the spacious living area, um, full bunk slide as well. Go inside here and check it out. All right, so you can see over here on the off door side, you're gonna have a full super slide, full 36 inches deep. Um, it does have the blackout shades, but again, if we open up those shades, it's gonna brighten this whole coach up. And you also have two couches opposing. So a lot of times in a, in a bunkhouse unit, you have a couple over, your friends, you gotta sit in the same slide out, it's hard to talk, what have you. This, you can sit right across from each other, converse, and it opens this whole area up. And again, like I'd mentioned, this slide's not quite as deep, so it still gives you room under the awning. So it's a very, very sweet floor plan. Um, over here, you're gonna have your entertainment center, um, cable TV hookup, AM, FM, CD, fireplace. Now that will produce some heat, so if it's just a cool day, you want to take the chill out of the air, you can fire that up. That is going to be just 110, or you can have it just for looks. So either way, um, totally up to you. One basin stainless steel sink, the pull-out sprayer, you can see that there. Um, very, very nice. Has the Furion cooktop, and it is the flush mount glass, okay. Pull-out drawer here. And over here you're gonna see, you do have the very, very big, the Everchill refrigerator, freezer on top, refrigerator on the bottom. And then with this island, it gives you plenty of countertop space. And when you travel, you just throw that over. Now, one thing I am gonna tell you just real quick. So once you get to the campground, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come to your stove after you turn your gas bottles on and light three burners and let those burn for about 30 seconds. What that's gonna do is it's gonna get the gas flowing, get the air pockets out of the lines. That way when you go to fire up your water heater, everything functions properly, okay? Very, very key. Look at this, pantry in this coach, three shelves, it's about a foot deep, very, very nice. Um, thermostat here works just like your one in your house will. Nice big skylight here, so you can see, I mean, this whole area is just very, very bright. And again, AC is ducted all throughout the ceiling. The heat is gonna be around the floor. So you'll see the heat ducts going around the floor. Now back here in the bunkhouse area, you're gonna see, <clears throat> excuse me. Now with this being a 50 amp service unit, it is a pretty good sized coach. It is prepped for a second AC if you wanted to add one. Um, you're gonna see down here, top bunk flips up. You can latch that there. Has the cushions down here that make into a bed. Kids love it for gaming, watching movies, what have you. Very, very nice. Has the ladder to get up on top of the bunk. And then plenty of storage back here as well. All hidden hinges, so you don't have to see the hinges. Again, very, very great attention to detail. Now, there's plenty of room to sleep in this coach because you can make this into a bed, both couches make into a bed. Um, this just lays down, um, pull the back cushions out, lay it out there, very, very nice. And again, this coach is just bright. You can see we have all the shades down. We just have a few lights going in here with the skylight, what have you. Still very, very bright in here. Okay, right inside the door here, you're gonna have a little monitor panel here, um, control center. So the awning to run it in and out right here, all power. Slide out switches, has three slides on this model. Those switches are here. Interior, exterior lights, water pump. Now this is an on-demand water pump. So what that means, if you're running off your fresh water tank, you don't have to come over here and, hey, I'm gonna use the sink and turn this switch on, then you'll use the sink. You just leave it on if you're running off your fresh, and then once it builds up pressure, it automatically shuts off. Then over here, you're gonna see the water heater. Again, this is gas. The electric switch is bottom left-hand corner. Tank heaters is gonna be if you're camping in cold climates, keeps the tanks from freezing up. And then right here is gonna be your monitor panel up at the top, lets you kinda know where the levels are on your tanks. Go in there and take a look at the bathroom. Hot and cold. Full stink, stand up shower, very, very nice. Again, skylight over the, over the shower there. A couple different things that'll give you a little more head clearance, number one. Number two, it keeps it nice and bright in the bathroom for you. All right, and you can see right in here in the, the master bedroom, um, couple things in here. So you're gonna have 
hookups on both sides of the bed. You're gonna have lights above the bed. Again, all LED lighting throughout the coach, keeps the coach cooler, uses less battery consumption. And then you're gonna have storage all above on this side and then you have a hanging full closet in here for a travel trailer i mean this is huge i mean you don't see too many times in a travel trailer you have a, a almost a walk-in closet and again very very bright in this coach they use great colors um, has the very unique door there that way it doesn't swing you can get in and out very easily but again this is a vibe 34 bh by forest river um, great built coach um, we'd love to help you guys out, answer any questions for you. Um, you can get into one of these at a very, very reasonable price. You can get our nationwide service network, the PDI, the pre-delivery inspection, all taken care of for you. Give us a call, 877-877-4494. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.